Hi everyone, dito naman ako si Boy Lil Z at ngayon magbibigay ako ng tips for you to pass your examination. So stay tuned and keep watching this video. Don't start answering your examination before you watch this video. You see, I've been a student for 15 years and during this time, I've made a lot of mistakes. So if you are currently or will be taking examination, I want to share with you 5 secret tips that you can do to pass all these exams. Tip number 1. Don't build your life around answers. Build answers around your life. I could see a lot of struggling students where all they do is borrowing lots of textbooks, coming up with tons of reviewers, spending days reading, and spending the whole night studying and worrying, oh, am I gonna pass this exam or oh, am I gonna get a high score? You see, I don't build my life around answers. Although I also do read and study, but I only spend at most an hour a day to do study and review. So that's it. I don't build my life around answers. I build answers around my life, around my capabilities, and around my expertise. Tip number two, and that is have a long-term view. See, most students, they take their exam and they give up too early. They take their prelim exam or their first grading exam and they fail so bad or they just got a score of just below the passing grade and they were like, oh, I'm not gonna graduate or oh, I'm gonna be delayed. You see, it took John F. Kennedy Jr., the son of the former U.S. President, three tries before he passed the bar exam. Failure is the building block of success. So if you wanna pass all your exams, know that challenges will always be there. So be positive and commit that you know what, I'm gonna pass this exam. I'm not gonna try to pass this exam. I'm gonna do pass this exam. And if I'm gonna fail, I will still be happy that there will be a second chance. Again, failure and challenges are building blocks of success. So if you give up too early, it's not gonna work. Number three, be humble. Yes, when you are the so-called smartest, or when you are the most studious person in your classroom, you will be more famous during examinations. This happens because your classmates will look up to you. They trust your trivias. But always remember that don't let that go into your head. Don't boast your IQ. Rather, expose your EQ. Share your knowledge with your classmates who need help. And for those students who need help, listen to the one who know better. Mute your voice and listen to somebody who is talking. Just be humble. And also, don't base your happiness on your scores. You see, one of the biggest mistakes I see on us students is that we love to compare our scores. But remember, don't get too obsessed on that. Don't get too hung up on that. You see, these students have their emotional ups and downs. No, when you are entering your exam room or when you are entering your online exam, you need to first congratulate yourself for doing your best in studying and also in answering your exam. Tip number four, and that is aim on the passing grade. You see, many students want to be on top. Many students want to have the highest score. Many students aim to have the perfect score. It's good to aim like that. But if these students do not meet what they aim, they tend to break down. So a better way to aim is to aim on the passing grade. You see, when you aim on the passing grade, 
you tend to be more careful in answering your exams. And according to research, those students who aim on the passing grade have higher tendencies to surpass what they aim. So aim on the passing grade so there will be less breakdowns but more breakthroughs. And number five, you will face lots of problems. I guarantee you, yes, you will face lots of problems as you go through the exam questions. You will face unnecessary problems like you accidentally broke your pencil or the Wi-Fi or the internet suddenly went off. But always remember that challenges will always be there. And these challenges are the building blocks of success. So be consistent, stay focused, and beat this problem. To beat this problem, all you need to do is do nothing, say nothing, and be nothing. You see, by doing this, after exam, you will just feel relaxed and you will just move on from this problem. And don't forget, after the exam, remember, don't do anything related to the exam. Like asking questions from your classmates like, Oh, what is your answer or number this or number that? You see, this makes you doubt yourself. This makes you less confident. So be consistent, stay focused, and beat this problem. But wait, I have a bonus tip for all of you. And that is, pray before, during, and after the exam. You see, for other students, prayer may just be a ritual. But for me, personally, prayer is the most powerful and the most effective way and effective tip that I can give you to pass all your examinations. So that's it. Now that you know the five secret tips that you can do to pass all your examinations, I wish you all the best in your future exams or in your upcoming examinations. Please give a like and hit the subscribe button and the bell icon below. And also, don't forget to leave a comment or a suggestion in the comment box also below. So God bless you in your future examinations and in your activities of daily living. This is Boy Lil Z. Peace out.